I'm sure you have heard this term being used quite a bit, free guard zone. So what is it and how do we deal with it? Well, that's what we're talking about today on Curl Up with Jamie. The free guard zone is the area between the hog line and the T line, but not including the rings, not including the paint. So from here, all the way to here, but as soon as the rock touches the paint, it's no longer in the free guard zone area. The free guard zone means that for the first five rocks of an end, you cannot remove a rock that is in that area. You can move it around, but you cannot remove it from play. Keep in mind that this only applies to your opposition's rocks. You can remove your own rocks anywhere at any time. It's normally not recommended, but you can. So the team that is trying to create offense to generate some points, score some points, will generally take will hopefully take advantage of the free guard zone, throw up guards in that area, and then draw around and hide behind them. Now, as a team that is trying to defend against the free guard zone, a common shot is what's called the tick. Now, it's a really tough shot, but it accomplishes a lot, and it's still within the rules of the game. The team would ask their lead to throw about backline weight, just barely make contact with the opposition's rock in the free guard zone area, punch it over to the side where it's less in the way, try to roll their shooter off to the opposite side or even onto the rings. But the catch is that if you hit it too hard, if you make too much contact and punch their rock into the sideboards or cross the back line, then everything has to go back to the way it was before you made contact. So, if you are tied in a game with the hammer in the last end, coming home, and your lead makes two perfect ticks on the opposition's rocks, the odds are extremely high that your skip is gonna have an easy shot for the win. The tick shot is a skill, and just like any other skill, it needs to be practiced. So get out there and do it. Comments, questions, you guys know where to put them. I'll answer. I'll see you guys next time on Curl Up with Jamie.